Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I am going to be stuffing cash envelopes for the week of June the 5th. I'm a little late getting this done because it is currently Friday, June the 9th, so I haven't done any cash stuffing this week and today is actually payday. Um, I was looking back at my analytics and it was like, man, Lisa, you haven't uploaded a video in three days. I have been slacking. So um, before I go to the bank and go get more money, I thought I need to go ahead and stuff uh, this last week. So I did get cash out. So let's count this together so that both you and I know how much we're stuffing this week. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, and 10. So I do have some new envelopes here. Um, I sell both the uh, mini envelopes and the regular size envelopes um, on Etsy, and I always have my Etsy shop linked down below if you are interested. I do have a sale going on right now because I really want to um, you know, sell as much as I can before we move. Um, and I'm not introducing any new products until I can sell a good chunk of what I already have. So if you're interested in envelopes, I have you covered and check me out on Etsy. My Etsy shop name, shop name is Lisa Marie Budgets. All right. So I did uh, make some new envelopes here for just weekly cash stuffing. We've got cleaning ladies, groceries, lawn care, uh, gas for my car, and fur babies. So um, I don't have any sinking funds that I'm going to be stuffing this week, but I do have my moving envelope. So let's start with fur babies. So I talked about this the last time um, we talked, <laughs> and I decided that I'm going to stuff $20 a week in fur babies instead of lumping it in with the groceries um, that way i can build a little bit up and then you know do some bulk shopping like on chewy.com or you know something like that to get better deals on food so my daughter she has three cats and a dog and i have two cats so my fur babies envelope will go towards uh, food for my cat Oreo and Tink. So that's fur babies. Then there's gas, <clears throat> excuse me, gas for my car. I am not leaving this weekend. I don't have any plans next week and I have, I have close to a full tank of gas. I'm actually not gonna stuff it uh, this week and I did spend what money was in here from the last week. Then we have lawn care and I'm not going to stuff lawn care for the week of the 5th because my guy actually came the week before and I don't need to stuff this until next week. So that would be the 12th. So nothing is going in lawn care. Um, in groceries, we're going to put $80, so 20, 40, 60, 80. So normally my grocery budget is 100, but that covers everything that you know, I would buy at Walmart, including pet food. And since I split that off into a, a separate envelope, I'm only doing $80 a week for food. Now, this is going straight to Carol Ann because she did a Walmart delivery order. She had, I don't know, probably like $170 worth of stuff in that cart. And only, um, I had coffee creamer and some oh, Simba. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, all I can do is laugh. He jumped up on the table over here where you couldn't see him. There's a side table and he got into my, I got like a little basket that I keep my normal medications and all my vitamins and stuff. And he knocked the whole thing over. Thank you, Simba. It startled him. And he shot off that way. <laughs> Will I edit that out? Probably not. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> Bad groceries. So, Carolina, yeah. So, Carolina had $175 worth of stuff in the Walmart cart. And I was like, girl, my budget is $100 per week. 
and I said, I will contribute $80. And if you want to spend your money on the rest of it, go right ahead. But I literally had only $20 worth of stuff in the cart and it was a coffee cream. I got two things of coffee creamer and I don't even remember what the other thing was, but the rest of it was hers. So she's going to get this when she comes home today because she did spend her money to buy my items. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going over budget, um, you know, because she likes a bunch of expensive stuff that is not within my means. All right, next is Cleaning Ladies. The Cleaning Ladies actually came on, let's see, that would have been May, th whatever the last day of May was, on Wednesday. They did not come this week. They will come next week, but I'll get cash out this weekend because I just got paid today, and I'll stuff this next week, not for this week. I hope I'm making sense. I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> it's one of those days. It's like, Friday, uh, 3.20, so I just got off work about 20 minutes ago, and um, here I am stuffing. Okay, so let's talk about sinking funds. Um, I was thinking about uh, what I need to be able to actually physically move from this place to the new place. I contacted the internet people. Um, they went out to the property, I think, yesterday. They're um, looking for underground lines and they're going to dig the fiber optic line from the street to the house. Um, there's no charge for installation as long as I do a year long contract with this company, which I will do. But right now I don't have anything to pay. It won't be until that the box is um, installed inside the home that I'll pay for like that first month of service. I don't have that just yet. Um, there's no water bill because we're on well water. Um, I will eventually need to uh, switch the electric over and I'll need about 200 ish dollars to do that. And then there is the cost of the movers. So I put a hundred dollars down for moving and it's like a hundred and fifty dollars an hour roundabout. And I suspect we might need about three hours. And so I think that we'll probably need about 450, let's say 500 after tip and everything for moving. So with all that being said, I'm pumping the brakes on my sinking funds. And, oh, Luna, hi baby, you gotta go lay down. I can't show you guys her because she's, because I'm filming, but she is sitting here over my shoulder at the moment. Go lay down, baby. Go, go, go lay down. Uh, so anyway, pumping the brakes on sinking funds until after we move. I'm just going to have to make it up later. Um, and so everything else is going into moving. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. Um, yeah, it was a, a tough decision to make uh, whether or not to stuff sinking funds. But this envelope is empty. The money that was in here paid for my first month's rent, my deposit, and a hundred dollar deposit on the uh, the movers. So um, I'm starting all over in this envelope, but um, you know everything that gets stuffed here in this envelope between now and the first of August. So I have I don't know how many days that is, but it's I don't know probably like maybe seven weeks, maybe seven weeks. Um, everything I can stop between now and then, um, I will do that. And we're just gonna hold off on sinking funds until I can get moved and you know get everything settled. So that's it for this envelope stuffing again. This was for the week of June the 5th. I will be doing an another cash stuffing later this weekend to cover the week of June 12th. I'm not sure when that video will be out, but I am doing a lot of filming this weekend. So hopefully I'll have lots of videos for you this week because this past week was really crazy. Yesterday was uh, June 8th and it was the one month anniversary of Chewy's passing. And that was kind of a tough day for me. Um, I thought about him a lot. I mean, I think about him every day, talk about him every day. But yesterday was kind of especially tough for me. And so, uh, yeah, just didn't really get a lot of filming done this week. I've been de-junking, purging. We've taken, I don't know, a few loads to Goodwill. And I have another load 
um, you know, to take probably tonight, but I'm just doing everything I can to purge all of the clutter that, you know, I've accumulated in the last uh, two and a half years, but all right, I'm going to stop babbling on, um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for supporting my channel, and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye!